MKS Instruments, a global provider of technologies that enable advanced processes and improve productivity, is the leader in precision laser measurement. With 40 years of product innovation, including Ophir power meters and sensors, photon scanning slit profilers and Spiracon camera profilers, non-contact beam profilers and additive manufacturing measurement systems, serving manufacturing, medical, military, scientific research, and semiconductor industries throughout the world. Each laser application requires specific laser beam characteristics. For example, in material processing, cutting steel requires a different laser beam profile than cutting aluminum. The distribution of the power and energy density in the beam determines the effectiveness of the laser at the work surface. Even the smallest deviations in beam adjustment or focal position may lead to massive increases in scrapped material and pollution of the environment in a variety of ways. A laser beam at the work surface is like a light bulb that degrades over time. Not only can the laser source degrade over time, but free space optics, optical fibers, beam shaping optics, scanning mirrors, focusing lenses and mirrors, and protective cover glass can heat up or become contaminated over time, which alters the laser beam characteristics at the work surface. Therefore, measuring your laser's performance is crucial to continued quality operations. The degradation of laser systems components will ultimately result in a reduction in system efficiency. Laser power will likely decrease over time because laser optics and mirrors gradually absorb more laser light as they age or become contaminated. And because of the thermal effects that this absorption results in, the laser's optics will slightly change shape and the focused spot will experience changes in size or location with respect to the process, known as focus shift. Reduction in laser power in conjunction with increases in laser spot size reduces power density. This efficiency loss will eventually cause the system to alter the process. Periodic measurement of the laser system is the best way to manage these changes and to better predict when corrective maintenance needs to be performed. Uh, I was called in this one time, the customer had a laser welder that was working really well and a laser welder that wasn't working pretty well. And they measured the power on one welder and power on the other welder and they got pretty much the same number. So they think, well, maybe it's a beam profile. One profile was a little bit better than the other, but both of the profiles were pretty bad. One of them had sort of a chisel to it. Uh, they both had kind of an uneven asymmetry. They made some changes to the laser to make it more uniform, to get a much more flat top beam, which they could see in the profile, and they were able to get much higher yields. Uh, and I was working for one division of a large government agency. Uh, they were doing a lot of research on pilots' eyes. Then they asked me, they said, hey, we've got another guy up. He works at a, at a patient clinic at a major hospital. He's having troubles with their LASIK eye surgery devices. Would you mind going there and just taking a look? So I went up there and I looked at his equipment. And as soon as he saw the pictures, he didn't look at, the, he didn't look at my measurements. He saw the pictures, he howled. <laughs> And he goes, get that on a disc for me. So I did. I put plugged in and I copied the picture for him. And he ran down the hall and called the company and said, get somebody out here now and fix my device. Because the problem was he was cutting people's eyeballs and it was healing slowly. And it wasn't supposed to heal that slow because the, the laser device was a little, bit, a little bit off. And as soon as he saw the pictures, he knew full good and well, that's not right. We had an opportunity recently to, to meet with a, a customer who uh, was dealing in a totally new industry for us. Uh, but we had, had had a chance through our factory to provide a piece of equipment for them to test and evaluate. In their particular application, uh, because of the, of the volume of equipment they have to produce, they only can sample product to be tested to determine if it meets specification and certification standards. Uh, they had never had the opportunity with all the volume that they were producing, and they had 15 different product lines, to be able to test every product to be sure it worked or at least performed to specification. They had to use a sampling basis uh, kind of measurement, and by sampling they were testing maybe one out of 100 or maybe even one out of 200 pieces, and from that making decisions if the product line was working uh, properly. So they had a need to be able to literally test each product if they could do it. But the challenge was they had to do it within such a framework that it didn't impact the cycle time of their production line. Uh, the piece of equipment we provided literally had a five second response time to it. 
They put the product onto the Ophir Spirecon device, took a measurement, the measurements were automatically fed into their quality control information system, and they got the feedback exactly as to whether they were meeting specification. From soft x-ray to terahertz, nanowatts to kilowatts, less than a micron to three meters, Spiracon and Photon Beam Profiling Systems ensure success of every laser application, whether medical, military, industrial, or scientific. Call 866-755-5499 to discuss your laser application with a sales engineer, or visit us on the web at ophiropt.com slash photonics. Ophir Spiracon, the true measure of laser performance.